And on behalf of the All India Trinamool Congress, thank you, our friends in the media, and uh, all the reporters, the journalists, the operative uh, camera persons. Thank you for being here. We are also live on the party Facebook page. Thank you so much for being here on time. Since we just had a very meaningful protest this morning regarding the two key issues in Meghalaya, and we have the press conference on this issue, Dr. Mukul Sangma. Thank you for staying back before you go back. So today, I'm not sure of the numbers because the resolution which was held, read out in Parliament said nine or ten MPs were suspended. But by the time I came here for this press conference, I believe that number has gone up to 19. So 19 members of the opposition in Rajya Sabha, seven of them are from my party, the All India Trinamool Congress, Sushmita Dev, Mausam Noor, Shanta Chetri, Dr. Shantanu Sen, Abhi Ranjan Bishash, Nadimul Haq, and Dola Sen. Along with these colleagues, our friends in the DMK suspended, our friends from the TRS suspended, CPIM suspended, and CPI suspended. But there's actually some bigger suspension than all these suspensions. Democracy has been suspended in India. Parliament has been suspended in India by the people who are used to running, the two gentlemen who are used to running the Gujarat Gymkhana in Ahmedabad now want to apply the same rules of the Gujarat Gymkhana to the Parliament of India. Yesterday, some MPs got suspended in Lok Sabha. So the first point I want to raise on behalf of the Trinamool Congress, we ask, who benefits when parliament does not run? Who benefits when parliament is disrupted? Who benefits when MPs are suspended? And here, this is the hypothesis of our press conference today. So we have the government, the government as we were taught in our school civics books, government, yani sarkar, sarkar are answerable to who? Parliament, yani sangsad, and sangsad are responsible to who? People, yani janta. Pal government, parliament, and people. So when parliament is suspended, what happens? Then the government is not responsible to the people. And this is exactly what is happening today. Aaj ye ho rahe. Sangsad suspend, nahi chalega sangsad, tab sarkar janta ke saamne kuch answer nahi karna hoga. Price rise. Here are some facts. The last session was 27 days. Sataiz din. Sataiz din ka session hua budget session. Sataiz din mein koi discussion nahi hua on Mengai. 27 days. Is session mein saat din already ho gaya. No discussion. 34 days, this government is running away from discussing parliament. But are you surprised? Because this is the same government of Mr. Modi and Mr. Amit Shah who bulldozed the farm bills. Jab Sangsad vote ke liye pucha on, on the floor of the house. Division. Yane, you can vote. Yes or no? Wo nahi ala hua. Aaj bhi nahi ala hua. Today there was a resolution to suspend 11 members. We asked for a division to vote. It was not allowed. It was not allowed for the farm bills. It is not allowed today. 
government is running away from a discussion on price rise government is running away from a discussion on economic blockade rajya ko jo maan jo paisa hai milna chahiye 8000 20000 crore nahi de raha hai so the government is running away from all these issues and we in trinamool congress will fight will fight this in parliament we will fight this outside parliament i want to leave you with three quick statistics facts not even statistics before we end one because as i proved to you in the beginning that if parliament does not run if you don't have issues the government is the beneficiary so eventually we are coming we are making parliament into a deep dark chamber why do i say this you suspend 20 mps out you go you use covid as the excuse to keep all of you in the media how many of you are allowed regularly into parliament deep dark chamber out of every bill which is scrutinized the figure in earlier governments 20 saal 25 saal aage 10 bill 6 ya 7 bill scrutiny that means kuch padhai hoga kuch plus hoga minus hoga abhi 6 7 bill se wo ho gaya sirf ek only one bill is scrutinized out of 10 these is facts i challenge mr modi or mr shah they are very busy people handling all the allies like so many allies they have ed cbi come i said this in the last session i said this again i challenge any minister in the government choose any platform of your choice you come and debate three opposition mps about what you are doing to parliament so the first one i told you was how many bills are scrutinized one out of 10 number 2 parliament se darta hai narendra modi pradhan mantri rajya sabha mein 6 saal ho gaya teleprompter chhod rahe sir aaiye ek prashn ka answer dijiye ek only one come and answer one question on the floor of parliament i can move a resolution my resolution can be allow teleprompters in parliament then maybe you will answer a question but now teleprompters are not allowed so for the last 6 years you haven't come this is the reality of indian parliament i want to standing committees kuch nahi hota so the reality is parliament has been turned into a deep dark chamber parliament mr modi and mr shah and their minions who scuttle around as ministers taking instructions they don't have any respect and it saddens me and the only reason it saddens me is because i remember that moving image of a newly elected prime minister stepping into parliament and kissing the steps of that great institution what a sham what a hoax but then why are we surprised any questions i'll be happy to answer what happened inside parliament what happened inside rajya sabha this is a good thing you asked me nowadays you don't even know what happened inside parliament because there are 13 or 14 cameras there before i joined politics 20 years ago i used to do multi camera quiz shows so i know a little about multi camera so they cut one close up is on the chair the other close up camera is on the person who's speaking nothing else is shown so we have to shoot opposition members today who were in the house trinamool was in the house aitc dmk was in the house trs was in the house 
CPIM was in the house, CPI was in the house. We were all in the house, demanding a discussion on price rise, same as the last 33 days. We were not allowed a discussion, and that is why we went into the well. Bottom line, government is disrupting parliament, not opposition. But the government is trying to put a spin, saying that opposition parliament disturb kar raha hai. Please, just identify yourself so we get to know you. Kake? Achha, achha, achha. Ami is parliament ni ato basto. Ke kake dekeche, ke kake dake ni. I took how would I be I don't know. So don't mind. Huh? I'll, I'll update myself. I will update myself. And I'm sure we're having a, a press conference today by the, my colleagues in Calcutta. And I'm sure they will answer uh, all these questions. Our first part of our press conference today was on Meghalaya. The second part is, on, is in Parliament. And let me be very clear, the issue of price rise the issue of price rise and the related issues around price rise, so economic blockade of states, GST, all that together, it has to be discussed. We understand, we were told that the, this is interesting, that the finance minister uh, was down with COVID and we wish her well and we wish her a speedy recovery. The opposition parties made a request to the, gov to the leader of the house that no problem, even if the finance minister is not there, you please have the, any other minister to come and uh, be a part of that discussion. Yes. Uh, Mahua from Times of India. Can we get a mic across so I can't, like I didn't hear, sorry. Uh, this is a nice location for a, this is a nice location for a, for a press conference. Because we, we are homeless, the Trinamool Congress, just one second, Mawa, if I may. Yeah, sure. The Trinamool, the All India Trinamool Congress became a national party in 1998 with chairperson, founder chairperson, Ms. Mamta Banerjee. We've had 30 MPs, 40 MPs, 45 MPs. We're a national party. We got recognized in 2012. We still do not have a party office in not one of my colleagues' homes is being used as a party office. We are the third largest party office in parliament. But anyway, we are not complaining. Yes. Second week starting yesterday, similar thing happened in Lok Sabha today in Rajya Sabha. Therefore, it seems that what you're saying is that this government doesn't want the price rise debate and issues like that to be raised in the house by opposition against. If not, the current the house is still run by suspending it. What is the way out for the opposition who? Bring up the issues like price rise and the other things that you're talking about. How would you go about it while the session is still on? That's a good question. I'll try and answer your question in two parts. First is, who are the two people at the head of this party? Mr. Modi and Mr. Shah. What is their view and outlook on parliament? Do they care about parliament? Do they come to the Rajya Sabha and answer questions? I have another statistic for you. Dr. Manmohan Singh, in his five years, last five years, answered 22 questions. Maybe 21 or 23, but 22 questions. Mr. Modi has answered none. And I say this with all respect. Mr. Modi, Prime Minister of India, Sir, if you are going to come to Parliament, 
every Thursday morning for half an hour. Then I'll have to say things like, you treat it like the Gujarat Jim Khana. So if the leadership of the BJP views parliament, and nobody in the BJP, I suspect any of these ministers, have the guts to go up and say that, listen sir, the old tradition of parliament, the opposition will have its say. Because in Lok Sabha, aapke paas majority hai. Rajya Sabha, aapke paas majority aap banaya hai. Manufactured kiya hai. So opposition must have its say. The government will have its way. This is the way the Westminster model moves. But if you're not going to even allow us to raise these issues, price rise, I agree. For BJP, price rise is not an important issue. There are other important issues for them. What you eat, what you wear, who you marry, these are the issues. <laughs> price rise is not an issue. Distract, Karo. This is supplement. You are asked, you see, here we, we not only give you a chance to ask questions, but we also give you a supplementary question. So, my supplementary question? Supplementary. That the opposition ah. Abso Absolutely not. I have said this. I have said this before, and I'm saying this. I'm saying this again. Every member of the political party in parliament, whether you have one member or whether you have 40 members, like the TMC, every parliament, every political party has its own identity. And let me make this quite clear. What is the Trinamool's policy? We're very clear. I'm only saying it's not even a policy, it's a fact. We are now fighting elections in 2023, optimistically. We're going to do very well in 2023. In Meg 2023? 23 in Meghalaya. We're fighting all 42 seats in Bengal. We fought 294 seats in Bengal and in some other places. Certainly, we'll be fighting seats in some other states like Uttar Pradesh and a few, a few other states. So, we are a like-minded party. The TMC and everybody in the opposition is ideologically like-minded. But, there are some parties who are alliance partners. For example, the DMK is an alliance partner with the Grand Old Party. The RJD is an alliance partner with the Grand Old Party. The CPM is, was an alliance partner in Bengal with the Grand Old Party. So these are alliance partners. The Shiv Sena, the NCP and the Grand Old Party had a, ran a government in Maharashtra. So that is one kind of like-minded parties. The second kind of like-minded parties, we have the same like-minded but we are not an alliance partner. So I think if we make this distinction, so we can have the views. Okay, so our issue, parliament, we are very clear, is price rise. Every other issue is very important. Very, very important. But price rise, we feel, is the number one issue. And we will be on this issue, I can confirm, till there is a discussion, a bare-bone discussion on this Finance minister sending out tweets and all is fine. This is on the floor of parliament. Discussions are held on very important subjects. Say like Sri Lanka. We normally as Trinamool don't get involved because we like to support the government openly on foreign policy. But you want to do a discussion in Sri Lanka in a conference room, then we say do it in parliament when parliament is in session. But the key to this is that the one and two in this government they mock parliament. Okay. Done? Sir, sir, one point. Wow, you have done the exam. Kar diya ho. Joint entrance. I, I am not, I am not briefed because I came straight from there 
for this press conference even i'm surprised that the number is 19 because i'll tell you what happened you have to move a resolution to suspend mps and i must update you because you could not have seen because it got censored so when the government moved a resolution to to suspend 11 mps from my colleagues my colleagues from trinamool seven colleagues and the other colleagues from DMK, TRS, CPM, CPI. When, when this happened, they moved a resolution. So the resolution was moved by the, this is quite important. The resolution was moved by the parliamentary affairs minister. After he read his resolution, the resolution has to be put to vote. When the resolution was being put into vote, I, sitting on my seat, at my seat, asked for a division. Means asked for a electronic voting. That is my right as a member. On this, are you suspending? Are you not suspending? Same as the farm bill. Then what happens? You deprive me of my right. My right is if I'm sitting in my chair, if I'm standing at my seat, I must get a division. I did not get the division. The 11 was suspended. I came for the press conference. Now, members of the media, you inform me that 11 has now become 19 may have they may have moved another resolution so this is the rules of the gujarat gym khana sab chalta hai last question for you or from everybody <laughs> okay <laughs> you can take the microphone so others can listen and uh, we are going facebook uh, live and we are going on our on our you see we are going on our own channels trinamool facebook trinamool youtube and Trinamool Twitter. We are doing this because we need to reach out directly to as many people as we can. We appreciate that all of you have come here because otherwise between 7 o'clock and 10 o'clock some of those channels are extended versions of the Gujarat Gym Khana. So you talked about uh, like-minded partners and alliance partners so on a day-to-day -day basis. No, I didn't use the word partners. That is your version. I said like-minded parties. parties. Alliance. Uh -huh. I didn't say yeah, like-minded part, like-minded. So on a daily, on a day-to-day -day basis, uh, before the parliament starts, some kind of coordination happens between uh, the like-minded like parties minded. and the alliance yeah. parties. On different. Yeah, not to answer your question, you you asked a very fair, straightforward question. When you are in parliament, there are seven, eight, ten parties. There's some kind of coordination happens. Yeah, we kind of would like to come to the lobby at about 10.50 in the morning or 10.45 over some stand up, little quick, quick chat, quick chat. Like today we had a quick chat for two o'clock. We, we had a chat at about uh, 10 to 12 and we figured that when the house resumes at two o'clock, Professor Ram Gopal Yadav of Samajwadi Party, who had not spoken in the last six, seven days, and one colleague of mine from TRS, the two of them would speak first on taking the issue of price rise up. So that's the way it was done. Then we also had a, a, a colleague from uh, uh, Siva from DMK. So that's the way we have some. No, today there were no such colleagues because they were outside the party. Floor coordination. Floor coordination would always be there. The question is who is doing the floor coordination? It works out. I've answered all. One more? Sandeep? Off the record. <laughs> so, please do give us feedback about the timing of our press conference, about, you know, we should do this and we'll try and do this once or twice a week. And thank you again, Dr. Mukul Sangma. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much.